Hey guys, welcome back to New York Sports MC. I know yesterday was a long day for us. Uh, did not go the way that we planned with a lot of the top offensive linemen either being retained by the team or, or going elsewhere. And as the Jets sat back on the sidelines. But we did make our first signing of the tampering period late yesterday with a three-year, $30 million deal for former Seattle Seahawks offensive lineman George Fent, where only $13 million of it is in guaranteed money. And I didn't make this video last night because, to be honest, I didn't know much about George Fent, so I wanted to do some research on him um, so that I can give my opinion on what I thought about this deal. So Fent was a undrafted free agent back in the 2016, and, and due to injuries, played 10 to 12 games as a rookie and held up pretty well. Uh, well enough to where in the 2017 season, he was actually um, going into camp as the starter for the Seahawks, I believe at right tackle, or maybe, no, actually left tackle, I'm sorry. Uh, tore his ACL in the preseason, missed obviously the whole season, and that's when they went out and traded for Dwayne Brown. Uh, and Brown obviously one of the better tackles in the league at the time, became the starter right away. And since then, Fant had really been a backup tackle for the last two seasons, uh, where he was actually that sixth offensive lineman. He came in at tight end quite a bit. He's very athletic. He actually ran some routes, caught a pass. Um, so definitely an athletic tight end, uh, tackle, sorry, where uh, he can definitely continue to grow. They credited him a lot for that Monday night game where the Seahawks offense ran for about 218 yards. He came in quite a bit as that sixth lineman and was helping to pave the way for all those backs. But... Uh, one of the things, too, is that he's also very, very new to playing football. George Fent was actually a college basketball player that transitioned to tight end slash tackle late in his college career. Part of the reason why he went undrafted, very inexperienced, and to see that he started so many games as a rookie and he's played in this nice role now in his last two years, he's still learning the game. I mean, you don't just transition and all of a sudden you have all your techniques down. Um, so he's a huge guy, 6'6", uh, 320. So big, big tackle. He can play the left tackle or the right tackle. I can see him uh, competing with the rookie at, if we draft at 11 at left tackle. Also can see him competing with Chuma Doga at the right tackle spot. So definitely going to help bring in some more competition for this offensive line. The one thing I love about this trade is that there's only $13 million in guaranteed money. So this is something that after one year, we could probably get out of it with a small cap hit. After two years, that third year is probably nothing guaranteed. So that's what we really need to look at here. Um, Joe Douglas has to continue to make these smarter signings when it comes to the structure of the deal, where he has easy early outs, He's not giving up huge guaranteed money because the last thing we can do is panic because we miss out on some of the top household names and give out big guaranteed money to people that don't deserve it. And I saw a bunch of people with with talking about Jadavion Clowney. I think that would be a huge mistake and a spot where we give up big guaranteed money to somebody that will not produce at the level that they're commanding from a salary standpoint. I hope he continues the course, uh, get some signings that... If they pan out, great. We'll have them on good deals. If they don't, we can get out of them early and try to reload. We really need to build this team through the draft. And then as we start to build it, more and more people will want to come. But that's my thoughts on the signing. I go after Connor McGovern. I hope that he is a priority number one for us today. He's very close to a Graham Glass now where he plays center and guard. They had very similar PFF ratings last year. So that would be somebody I'd look to target today. Hopefully um, Joe Douglas feels the same way. We can get that done. Help bring in an extra person for that interior offensive line. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the page. Click, click the notification bell. And as always, jet up.